Hi, Hardies. Welcome to another Heart to Hardies. I'm Jeanette Stevens from Michigan, and I'm here with a few friends today. Dawn from North Carolina. Chelsea from Puerto Rico. And today we are so excited to have one of the most beloved couples of the show and calls the heart. Hardies do love you. <laughs> Viv and Natasha, welcome to Heart to Hardy. We're so glad to be here. Yay! Hardies! <laughs> I got the shirt to match today. We're we're oh, oh, yeah, you the Hardies. <laughs> and we're already noticing your camera doing the zoom because it, your camera just knows how special you guys are. It's zooming in. It, uh, it's trying it's trying to crop me out. It's really strange. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we, we're so glad to have you guys, and it's really good to see you. We haven't seen you for a while. Um, the last time some of us saw you was at last year's Hardy's Family Reunion up in yeah. Vancouver last fall. So that was a lot of fun to see. Yeah. It'd been a while since we'd all been together, so mm -hmm. that was good. Um, we wanted to, like, jump into the crowd and hug everybody, like, but we were told not to. <laughs> we were like, dude, you're no not allowed. You're surfing. not allowed. Yeah. That's what we wanted to do. So. Yeah, as I recall, that was uh, that's your mo. The last the last Hardy's family reunion. I remember Viv making sure to say hi. Yeah, to everybody. that's so right. That was... I was like, let's go. But they were like, <laughs> <Right>. oh, <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun this year because Viv, we got to have you on a panel with your children, which was a lot of. So how was that as a dad, uh, father up there beaming with pride as they answered the Hardy's yeah questions? That that was uh it was very cool like i was it was a little nerve-wracking because uh you know i don't know what they might say uh, uh fortunately they handled themselves very well and uh you know i tell them just be yourself you know the characters you know the show you know everybody here and you know you're surrounded by a lot of support so uh they they felt comfortable say you know speaking in front of everybody and, and that's a trip to watch because uh a lot of folks, their worst fear is public speech. So mm -hmm. to, to to look out and see that the kids are are, are good at that uh, is really cool. It's really cool to see. Honestly, it's such a supportive room. It's such a supportive wherever we are, and the Hardys are there. Um, you know you're loved. So it's not like you know you're not up there trying to win the crowd over. <laughs> that's <Right. laughs> that's kind of accomplished already. So yeah, yeah, uh, yeah it makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Natasha, how was it for you for the Hardy's Field reunion? Any memories stand out for you? It was great because it was the first reunion that we'd done that was, because the first one we did was um, outdoors. Mm -hmm. Right. It was COVID, it was limited numbers. And so this was the first real yeah. reunion I think we've actually yeah. been to, which was very different. There were so many people yeah. and the energy in the room is so strong and you're just trying to you're just trying to say hello to everyone and you really can't you want to you're just, you're just <laughs> looking around trying to say hi hi oh, you feel like you, you can never get to everyone and it was just so nice they're so engaging and they love listening to to whatever stories you have to tell and and their questions you just love their questions right yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. it's it you know to know that people travel to come yes. to see us oh my gosh yeah. like yeah. what like yeah I, you can't have a bad day on that day that's not possible <laughs> when all this love is coming towards come on like uh, it's amazing yeah. we met a couple from australia last year yes, yes. they that was the first time they traveled anywhere they yeah. came i was like hang on what hang yeah. on wait a minute you that's it this is the first time you got a passport yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. reunion. Yeah. that's yeah. that's a fandom yeah. like a you, real you, fandom you <laughs> cannot be upset about your job when you meet folks like that and to know that you've you've actually inspired someone going and say i'm gonna get on a plane and and, and go see this group of people like uh, come on you know like uh -huh. I, I don't i don't know if this gig exists anywhere else like this mm -hmm. i don't know if there's another group of folks that are so supportive uh, of, of artists, you know, doing their thing. I, I, I haven't seen it. So yeah. it's, it's amazing. They're making us tear up in the first time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we support each other so much. Because, I, I mean, I know there was a story recently 
where one hearty was going through some hard shit and everybody just rallied round from everywhere. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. It's Delta just, is one of the hardies. I wonder right if that's there. Yeah. It's one of the hardies right there. Yeah. Did you see the the thing for um Sunday morning uh, from CBS Sunday morning that was yes. the, hardies, the hardies? Yes. Yeah. Part of. Well, yeah, that's me. Yeah. I'm oh, very cool. Oh, God. Yeah. That was yeah, such so, a special segment. And I think I'm, it was necessary because, you know, I don't think, well, like you were saying, people don't quite realize how invested and devoted the fans are and it's and it's it's really something special to see uh -huh. and hear about because it's almost you almost can't believe it if someone's trying to explain it to you it's it's, it's really quite something about that yeah. 10 years ago <laughs> yeah. we've met like in twitter you know it was a moment wow. in social media at that point was not like the dumpster fire like right now <laughs> we see, but, you know that was that was our history i mean it was just like how do you you know bond with a, a person i've never seen and you know and i went the first hfr um it was in a tent on the set yeah and, um i didn't i didn't uh fly with anyone i didn't know anyone and wow. then i left with uh of, of friends that have been with me for these last decade yeah so, I, know. Wow. I feel that's a, my family, and it's it's it goes beyond the show it's something that's really special like how in my experience like how the hardies like rally together to help me and what I was going through so that's just like so wow. special that a show actually provided that for me and so yeah it's 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 something that's so special wow that's that's oh, wow i'm blown away this uh, is a lot it's a lot well we have to unpack a lot today so <laughs> we're talking about season 10 which is the last season that we saw you probably mm -hmm. that's in your back, back <laughs> like yes. okay how do i remember that? <laughs> but, uh, we're gonna do and we're gonna do some preview for season 11 maybe that if you can um get some nuggets with us okay. and then okay. also you have produced and starring a new movie the legend of the lost locket um, yes. which is like after our premiere that ends our week so um it will be <laughs> on hallmark on saturday april 13th so we cannot wait for that we can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. love it Okay, so lots of Canfield memories uh, for season 10, all the moments that were, and there, there's so many things to even pick for, but like my favorite was the um, baby dedication and mm -hmm. the idea that Minnie was kind of saying, you know, just from the heart, just talk from your heart. And, and Joseph was not, <laughs> not able to do that so and then at the end you know you know joseph went to his pocket and didn't have mm -hmm. any notes mm -hmm. but i love that that particular um season so one of our hardies aaron miller of st louis wants to hear your favorite scenes uh you filmed in season 10 and why oh okay mm -hmm. wow mm -hmm. you can go first <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the um, question, Aaron Miller. Yeah, good question. There's so many scenes that we just end up having so much fun on and just so so many different reasons. But um, I think one that I had the most fun on was when I was trying, when I started um, conducting the choir. <laughs> that was probably yeah. my yeah. Re really fun one, you know, and um, dealing with, the varying tones <laughs> of the singers. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, that was definitely a fun scene to shoot and, and be part of. Uh, just try and find those funny mm. moments. But then, of course, Minnie doesn't find them funny. No. That's <laughs> right. Try to be encouraging. Try to be encouraging. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, say, I say all the time, you got you to gotta hear this one sing. Because... Yeah. Woo. Did we? 
Go yeah. ahead. Dan. Yeah, we were just talking about that. Did no. I feel like at HFR Ben got you to sing a few bars? Did I, am I remembering that right? Didn't you break into song mm -hmm. a little bit? Yeah, heard her sing it. I don't think. <laughs> No, no. no. Okay, maybe I'm imagining an Instagram, an old Instagram. We just wanted it so much. We just, you know, <laughs> right, right. I keep saying it. I keep saying it, and it's gonna happen. You're gonna see. Oh. Minnie, Minnie's gonna sing. I'm putting. It, I'm predicting. Minnie, yeah. solo. <laughs> solo. <laughs> You'll see it. That's good. I have yeah. to imagine. How did you keep a straight face when with the? How did you put it? The varying tones. That they were all giving you. I don't know how you kept a straight face. <laughs> well, you know what was quite funny? She's a good um, actor. Loretta and, and Rothgar, they, oh gosh, I love them like playing <laughs> off each other, sort of, you know, like, so shut good, up, you sound terrible. I can't hear myself. <laughs> they're, so, they're, so uh, <laughs> they're so good. They're so good. They're so good. Those two are like, they're always on. <laughs> yeah. Rothgar and Loretta, they're, they're oh. like, they're we so good. More, we need more for for their. Oh, man. <laughs> that would be and, great. And and anytime they do anything together, like they dance together or they sing together, oh man, it's really to watch. <laughs> well, somebody needs to do some behind the scenes so that we can see all the <laughs> hijinks for that. You know what? I got a really cool video I'm gonna put up of 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 Rothgar and Ben juggling. It's the coolest. It's the coolest. Oh, really? nice. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to put that up. They are amazing. That's very cool. So, Viv, what is your favorite scene and why? Favorite, favorite scene. Uh, I really liked the. Um, I really liked the the, the camping um, trip oh, that yes. that uh, that the boys went on with the girls, um, <laughs> and and that. You know, Angela was asking if she could go, mm -hmm. and and you know the parents are like, Ugh. Uh. now, now it's kind of a similar. I have a similar thing going on in real life with with my daughter who is, you know, learning how to drive and oh no, and, yeah, and, oh, and and <laughs> you know, and she's 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 actually she's graduating from high school um, wow. this, this year, and. Okay. It, it's I'm not I, I say all the time I'm not acting when I when I'm on that show with my kids I'm I'm not acting it's it's I I know exactly what 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 Joseph is going through and so all of these moments where 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 Vienna is you know playing Angela and she's asking for more for more room more space more freedom I, I know exactly what that feels like. Uh, and it's just, it's scary. It's scary to, to, to let go, uh, you know, cause you, you've been protecting these, these kids your whole life, you know, for their whole lives. And okay. it's hard to let them go, but there's so many rewards when you, when you, when you let them go, you know, when you, you, uh, you, you understand that you've done a great job with these kids, they're good people. And that you've got to trust that they're going to go out in the world and 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 be kind and be courteous and you know have some adventures. So it, I liked that storyline a lot just because it, you know, it relates back to to life sure. a lot. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's lovely. Though. And and Nathan and Joseph got to hang out, which was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was one of those new pairings we had. Yeah, seen. exactly. I was yeah. thinking about that. Yeah. Any time that we have new characters interacting with each other that we've not seen before, I mean, there's you know typical ones but i yeah. do and i think the um the henry joseph uh dynamic is always interesting so mm -hmm. um i i so many things that yeah that that and again anytime i act with martin no mm -hmm. acting martin and i are are old friends and i i I dare anybody to try to do a scene with Martin and not just get caught up just staring at him because it's like he, there's so much happening with that man. He's got so much going on, which is why people love him, love the character because the man himself, man, like true artist, true yeah. artist. And yeah, I have to like remind myself okay your line Viv, like speak like like, like i'm just <laughs> I'm just watching him all the time so yeah and all the scenes with with martin uh yeah so and, all of, well, no. he just posted something about your friendship 
Yeah. Yeah. That, was, an, that was a neat post. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. kind of teared up when I was, you know, reading it because I mean, he's been, um, I think he had a, like a long journey for the, the girls and things like that. Yeah. So he's been reflecting a lot. And this one just, that kind of choked me up. I mean, that's yeah. a friendship and, you know, the history of. Yeah. We just spoke today. He, uh, we just spoke today. He called me up and uh, we were chatting about, the time away and 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 he was yeah he was the same it was five weeks it was, it was exactly what they all needed and mm -hmm. uh I, I just i i just um he he's he's just he's an incredible human being and uh uh it, it's i've known him for man, i think i was 17 or 18 when i first met martin so i've really? known martin yeah, I've known Martin for a long time. <laughs> and so, wow. yeah, he's oh, he's one of the heavy hitters in town uh, yeah. from years ago. So, you know, we'd always run into each other. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, I, I I think more Martin uh, on the show. I think uh, I think I think people will be, will be very happy with that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> when HFR, um, he I think HFR too. He was talking about his dog and <laughs> the story it, it we were just so enthralled because <laughs> he was just talking about you know the situation with the dog and it was so hilarious but i i would love to i just whenever he has a story to tell i'm i'm all in yeah you know? we have some good stuff we have some good stuff coming up for the hardies with with oh uh, so anyway. excited yeah. so well uh, Aaron, the one that just quit, did the question about um, your favorite uh, scene, she's from St. Louis, and she acknowledges that St. Louis has the best barbecue. <laughs> best barbecue. That's yeah. Nice. So, have you, Aaron, that's yeah. all we need. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, have you, um, have you uh, tasted Missouri barbecue? I no. have <laughs> I have years ago there was a, actually a, a a restaurant in town that did like proper oh really yeah yeah they're not open anymore oh. but it was uh okay. it was uh yeah it what did they they gave me um it was crocodile that <laughs> they had actually barbecued up I was like all right oh well. my. Yeah, um, I've not had that. No, I was in Texas, and I've been in North Carolina, and they just kind of bicker with the the best barbecue. barbecue yeah, yeah. it's like no matter you go to the U.S., there's probably going to be somewhere that oh, has yeah. barbecue that needs to oh, be yeah. that that claim to fame. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. That's right. Uh, so we have another question, and this is from Chris Christina Negus from Cyprus. It's so wow. crazy that When Calls a Heart has reached Cyprus, which is in the Mediterranean Sea. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, so uh, she asked if Minnie still wants to buy the cafe, like what's the status of that purchase mm -hmm. and where are things headed with the cafe in season 11? Well, Minnie did end up buying into it in season, why do I want to say nine? Is that when we went to get the yeah. loan? Yeah, so we did end up buying into it in season nine. So we do have the cafe. Um, season 11, you know, I feel like the cafe has become another hub mm -hmm. for people to congregate, which is actually really nice. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's given Minnie a lot more interactions with other characters. And um, we spent a lot of time, like even the family yeah. spend a lot of time in season 11 in the cafe it's sort of their second home yeah they're always there say. so yeah yeah, yeah. so the, a lot happens in season 11 that 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 um transpires in the cafe in the cafe yes <laughs> <laughs> um and now staying in this topic of like the cafe and cooking so regina valken brown of philadelphia she wants to know really? if if you bake in real life, Natasha, and if so, like, what's your specialty? Okay, <laughs> I do bake. I do bake when I when I can be bothered, and <laughs> anything gluten free. But 
I have discovered, I've tried many gluten-free goodies. Mm -hmm. I've tried mince pies. Mm -hmm. They didn't come out too badly. I was quite impressed. I was impressed with them. <laughs> um, but churros. I have established how to do churros. And I'm so excited Everybody's about it. Everybody's excited about that. <laughs> the churros. <laughs> the churros. Okay. <laughs> Gosh, that's, churros are always such a great option. Aren't they? And they're yeah. actually lot quicker to make than I thought they were like 15 minutes I was like what? wait a minute I could make these all the time you could, you could you're saying them. you have time to whip some up right now is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> you could have brought some um, yeah you can negotiate with anybody with churros yeah. you have churros you can <laughs> get out of traffic tickets everything <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. That's so true. That's perfect. <laughs> that's funny. Um, Viv, there's no end to the Hardy's fascination with the fact that you, you and your two kids, you, you have your two kids mm -hmm. on the show. Um, yeah. Honestly, I think probably once a week we still get people who discover that fact for the first yeah. time. And they're like, yeah. "Oh my word! I can't believe yeah. it." Yeah, <laughs> I see that. I'm like, uh, yeah. "Look at them!" <laughs> and look at me. You can see that was, those are my children. All right. um, uh, so uh, we have a hearty question. Jamie Pratashi, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, um, from San Diego, wonders, what is it like to be on set with your children now that a few seasons have passed and they're old pros on When Calls the Heart? <laughs> has, that, has that evolved a bit there over the years? Yeah. Um, so I've told this story before about Elias' first day on set um, where he he had prepared uh, the speech he ended up giving on his first day, which was basically Cooper just introducing himself and mm -hmm. talks about his family, talks about his sister, his parents and whatnot in front of the class. Now, when we got this, when we got the, the, the script of sides for that day, he didn't have to say much. He, what was written down for him to say was, uh, Aaron says, uh, what's your name? He says, hi, my name's Coop. And but you can call me Cooper. That's it. <laughs> and on the day, our our good friend Mr. Peter Deloise, he was like, no, 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 you can't just say that. He should say a whole paragraph more. He should say a lot more than what he's saying now. And Elias was very cool when we were in rehearsal. Right when when he said, okay, Elias, I want you to say this, 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 this. Now he had we had run over this material before with Elias because that was just what he auditioned with to get to get on the show. But he didn't think he was doing it on that day. So he was very relaxed. Like, I got two lines to say, I'm, I'm chilling, it's all good. And then Peter's like, no, no, you're gonna be saying all this. And he just found out about it five minutes before he had to do it. And so in front of everybody, Peter was like, are you good with that? And Elias is like, mm-hmm. <laughs> and then he's like, okay, we're gonna get it set up here, get the cameras in place and we'll be ready to go in like five minutes. And Elias is like, okay. And then as soon as Peter walked away, Elias is like, oh my God, oh my God. He's like, uh, 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 I can't do this. I can't do this. I was like, you can do this. You can do it. Don't worry, you already know it. You can do it. Uh, no, I can't do it, I can't do it. Now I was caught in this situation where I was like, okay, am I gonna be a, a good dad or am I gonna be am I gonna be the, 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 the professional actor that's on set with another actor and tries to get him, you know, to do his performance. Thankfully I was able to do both. And uh I just got him to see that he already knew it. He's got a really great memory. I we just started going over it and through tears he started saying the lines. And I was like, see, you already know it. You're good. You're good. And by the time we went and shot it, with Aaron's help, because she just kept him close. She just put her arm around him to keep him from, because he was rocking. He was so nervous. And she kept him. So if you guys look back and watch that season eight, you can see him. He's, she's, just, she's clamped onto him. And he says his lines. And first take, he nailed it. He nailed everything. And, and it was perfect. And to watch this kid from that day to now, uh it blows my mind because he's just so cool on set he's always relaxed he's always having a good time the the vienna and elias love hanging out with all the kids on set and it's like 
they 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 don't need me anymore. <laughs> they can be like, where's that? No. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, like, Viv will be like, oh wait, have you seen Vienna? <laughs> They're not looking for me. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. You can hang out with the rest of us. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They they don't need that. And uh it's 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 very, very cool to know that they know what's going on and they're comfortable being on set because that that to me is like you know you can you can you can have a bad day on set when you first start and that can dictate you know how it all goes for the rest of the time um and that it's this is such a, a encouraging very very safe environment and i can tell you as a parent because that's number one uh th it's one of the best sets for kids period like super safe uh, very inviting. We, we work like, you know, bankers hours, basically, as far as like the kids are not, they're not overworked. They're, 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 they're supported. And, and it's because of the set and where we are, it's so safe. Like we, 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 we're on land that the, that the, the company is kind of rented out. So there's no, we are completely, we're good. We're good there. So, uh, I love watching these kids do their thing now. And, uh, I, I'll tell you, I'll probably be looking up at Elias next year because uh, I'm already looking up. <laughs> oh, are you really? Oh wow! Oh, oh my! Yeah, yeah. Wait till he, his voice is dropped. Uh, oh no! Yeah, he's like. Oh, the kids! I remember up. when Christian had that. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, who is that? Yeah, Christian's <laughs> a man now. I'm like, what? Wow! Like, not a little kid anymore. Yeah, everybody's. Uh, it's trippy because like Christian drives, um, mm. uh, yeah. Vienna's learning how to drive. Like it's so crazy. These kids are they're 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 growing up. And uh, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna be looking. I'm positive I'm gonna be looking up at Elias next year, which is wow weird to think. Unbelievable! But. Wow! Unbelievable! Well, well yeah. speaking of Elias with Cooper, uh, in season ten, we did get to see him kind of take grow up the character of Cooper grow up a bit, and he's kind of starting to take on the values that his parents have and showing mm -hmm. how mom and dad have you know worked their values into his life um there was that cool scene at the hot springs where um they gave him the chance to um name the hot springs and he wanted to make sure it was a a name that included everyone in the town which was a really special moment and really telling of the character um Karen walker of coral gables florida another hardy asked how minnie and joseph will be handling the evolving teenage and young adult years as the seasons go so we talked about your kids mm. growing up what about the characters growing up and <laughs> yeah. Joseph handling it <laughs> well that's what Minnie's for <laughs> Everybody has to <laughs> it's really interesting how it goes in season 11 actually for the kids uh really mm. I think they teach they yes. teach Minnie and Joseph something yes they do they teach Minnie and Joseph how much they've evolved and grown up mm -hmm. and you know the story that where how they contribute to to the story for Minnie and Joseph is is they really come toe to toe with us yeah really and they've really stepped up and they're in every way as as characters Minnie and Joseph have to see them now as, you know, yeah. young adults. Yeah. They really they really were in season eleven. Yeah. And yeah. um we couldn't even we can't tell you why. Yeah. But we couldn't even be upset about it. No. They made so many good oh yeah, because there's there's a great scene where I just uh listen to Joseph. <laughs> Flubbering through trying to explain something to them, and I was like, "Wow, they really got him. They, uh -huh. they got him." <laughs> okay, well, I'll let you answer say. this. <laughs> yeah, nothing you could say. Because, yeah. because they're, cause, yeah, because they're right. They're correct, in, in what in what they're doing and why mm. they're doing what they're doing, and uh, yeah, it's it's very cool to see. Yeah. Well, that's so relatable for families, right? When your kids get that age, all the viewers w can relate to that. Where all of a sudden, you know, these these uh, little mini grown-ups are having, you know, valued opinions in the decisions we make as a family. So that's intriguing. Yeah. I can't wait to see what you're talking about. <laughs> I know. What do you say more? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, talking about season 11, there's a lot of interest about the Canfield background story. So we have a, a question from Gladys Johnson of Arlington, Texas, wonders if we will see or hear more from your families uh, in season 11. Gladys, you are on point. Uh, We're going to hear more from someone's family. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> we are going to hear something from someone's family. <laughs> oh. um, did, we, did we see them or we just hear from them? Both. Uh -huh. Both. Look at that. You know, this say story is, you know, develops nicely, yes. actually. Gladys, mm -hmm. you're on to something. Yeah. <laughs> just keep trying to figure it out. <laughs> yes. Well, we need to probably do some predictions for that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's a it's a, um, it's a it's a really it's a really cool storyline and uh, mm -hmm. um, it's 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 really nice how I like how they wrote you know how Minnie is involved in how it all transpired mm -hmm. and and it's a very it's a very heartwarming story and how they in integrated the kids into yes. how it all yes. happened has been it was actually done really well it was. I would it, say. it was it was what I wanted to say was my favorite but <laughs> but I have to unpack so much that I was like now it, it, it's yeah it's, there's a there's a there's a scene within everything we're talking about right now that was was a, a, an amazing scene to oh, I, when when it happens when you see it I, and then I can talk about it but I'm like ah. <laughs> we it's will very cool. we will do that <laughs> for sure oh, yeah. yes we will I love yes, that so in season ten many had a lot of patients you talked about the choir scene I mean with <laughs> Rosemary's meddling and you know all that stuff that you had a lot of control you know, in your person just to get through that. So we're wondering if Minnie will be more vulnerable in season 11, because it's, it's not easy to be a minister's wife. And, you know, you yeah. have to do the high road. So um, sometimes it takes a toll. So what can you oh. tell me about mm. money? That's an excellent question. I do you know what there there are a couple moments of vulnerability for Minnie. Um, I mean, she always she always pulls it together when she needs to, but there were definitely a few times for her where you know she looks to her husband, yeah. and um, she's not sure for a change. You know, I do always like playing those scenes, like um, in season nine with with Landis and, and not really knowing whether to invite him over or not. Mm -hmm. um, it's just really nice to sometimes see uh, a different side of her and to be able to explore that in various different ways and to be advised by the minister <laughs> from from his perspective sometimes, you know, as as a pastor, but as a husband as well, right? Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. I do like that. Um, that dynamic between you know it's a partnership it's a marriage but um we we don't see that in other stories or you know other shows that really um demonstrate how you can you know survive the whole journey as you get older in yeah. so i do love that um and canfields are you know top shelf for that one yeah you know what you you, you have to be a team and and yeah. uh um there's 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 i mean it starts it starts here like thankfully because <laughs> because it doesn't happen all the time but thankfully mm, this might you know like we totally click and we totally get along and it's just so easy and and we 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 throw ideas back and forth at each other and like what yeah. do you think of this what do you think of that or how should we do this you know and and what's so great is that everybody's open to our input everybody's yeah. open to if we're like ah that that kind of doesn't track for me or for us to be doing this or saying this yeah. okay no problem like everybody is cool with 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 anything that we want to you know incorporate and we normally don't even need to have both of us in 
the place having the discussion yeah. because we know how the other one would feel about yeah. the same yeah. subject matter. Yeah. So we can speak for both of us. She's talking about it. If she's, if she's like, you know what, we should, I, I, I already know right. that she's covered it properly. Yeah. I don't have to even wonder about it. So yeah, we just, we, we go in and we, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff that we, that we have discussed, like really showing the the different stages of a, of a marriage you yes. know and and of 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 where that relationship is now versus when you even first met the canfields right mm -hmm. they they're mm -hmm. in a totally different place than when you first met them and and then how does that then affect how we are with each other mm -hmm. and and we 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 talk about everything anything where you see the canfields on on screen we we we've broken it down we've talked about it and we we, we know how important it is to really put that forward. Cause as you said, like, you don't really get to see that. There's not that we are the family unit mm -hmm. on the show. Yeah. And we know there's a, you know, there's a big responsibility with that. And that, I mean, you know, uh, uh, um, it's, it's great that, that uh, our friends have Goldie now, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but, you know, but Goldie's a baby and she's not causing any problems. Not causing problems. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's not getting into anything. The toddler's yeah. going to be here soon. <laughs> right? Uh, that's coming. But like, when you're talking about a full-fledged, yeah. fleshed out family yeah. dynamic, yeah. We, we're we fortunate enough to have that responsibility put on us to to, to portray it. And, and we, t we take it very seriously. Like, we... we we don't, yeah, we don't joke around with that. That's, yeah. I joke around a lot, but when it mm -hmm. comes to like really showing what a family unit looks like. Nah. Yeah, exactly. This is like a mature family versus a, you know, a new unit. Yeah. Going so, and the thing is like, we are so blessed with our cast because um, you, you talk about the, the chemistry between people and, mm -hmm. and that is a, it's like a, a unit that you have with the Canfields, we need that. We need yeah. to see that. And we need to see Rosie and Lee and their yeah. new family and, you know, and, and the others that are, you know, doing their new yeah. journey, stuff like that. But I mean, we're just so blessed. I mean, how do we even find these people? I don't know, but <laughs> passing was, they were great. So yeah, that, thank, thank you. Thank you to every, yeah. All the people that, that uh, put it together and, you know, all the, the writing involved in, in, in bringing on the Canfields and, and just, you know, uh, where it's all going to go. Um, mm -hmm. It's, it's, yeah, it's been a joy. It's been, yeah. it's been well, that's yeah. what's cool about about the characters because you are a new newer family to the show. There's still so much to unpack and so many places mm -hmm. that the family can go and different yeah. conflicts we can see. And it's it's really exciting to think about what the future could hold for for Canfield. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we know that ministry is a big part of the Canfield family, so. Um, Viv, uh, Donnie mm -hmm. Holt of Burlington, North Carolina, uh, and oh, your portrayal so much, especially the way that um, you rely on your faith for answers rather than your own. But yet, um, we saw that the reality of ministry in season 10, you know, um, it was, you know, how exhausting it can be. And Joseph worked a lot of jobs and didn't really have the time like you mentioned like to take out you know time to go camping with his daughter um mm -hmm. so talk to us about telling the real story of you know of what it is to like be a pastor that time yeah um there's so when so when the character of joseph was first conceived um there was a lot of thought about what kind of pastor he'd be so the our, our thought process at the time was uh he's he's gonna be a uh, he's a jack of all trades so he's you know he can fix work on anything fix anything and he would he would spend a lot of time kind of running around doing different jobs as well as you know being there for the townsfolk when it came to anything that they needed spiritual help with and as the seasons have gone on, 
uh, that role became more important than, you know, some of the other things that, you know, building stuff or working on stuff, because there's lots of people in town that can do that, but not necessarily a lot of people in town that can do what Joseph does uh, to, you know, offer assistance spiritually. And so the character was, was, you know, pushed in that direction. And yeah, at first I was like, oh, no, I really liked the fact that Joseph was, you know, doing more than one thing. But the importance of what he does through the church, you know, with folks in town is, is huge. And, and a lot of, I've had a lot of the fans reach out and say how, how happy they were to see, you know, uh, spirituality brought back onto the show in the way that it has been. Um, It's, it's, it, it was, it was the right decision to, to, to lead Joseph to this, to this calling that he's been, he, yeah. he, he'd had, he was kind of struggling with um, whether he should, like in the, in the beginning, he was struggling with whether, whether he should even do it. Um, and I like the journey. I like the journey that it's taken where, you know, it was something that, Minnie had to help him with at one point. It's something that Cooper was struggling with at Mm -hmm. some point. Mm -hmm. And I think as a family unit, you know, this idea of of him being the pastor, it doesn't just affect him. It affects the whole family and in so many different ways. And I think it's been really great to be able to explore that and tell the different variations of that story with the different family members and how how it's actually affecting them as well. Yeah. For you to get to your final answer, right? Yes, yes. Because, you, I mean, because honestly, where else are you going to see that? You know, yeah. <laughs> you're, you're probably not going to see that anywhere else. And uh, yeah, it's just it's just something that I think that we've, we've really lost over the years, uh, you know, in kind of mainstream entertainment. It's not anything that, I don't see it uh, anymore. I used to see it when I was a kid, but I don't really see it anymore. So, right, right, yeah. you know, like I, we always talk about Little House in the Prairie and, mm-hmm. and uh, or, you know, Highway to Heaven. Or, there, there, there was, there was a, a, a concerted effort to kind of keep those values, uh, you know, on the screen. Mm-hmm. And so it, it feels like a throwback to, yeah. to, to, be, to, to be playing Joseph. It, it's a, uh, um, and, and especially, like I said, in the time that the show takes place, mm-hmm. the the, the storylines for him are are I don't know they're they're just proper. <laughs> it's not he's not caught up in some craziness that it could have been if it was set now or whatever. It's very uh, the the show is something that like like I love the fact that everybody can watch the show. Anybody can watch the show. Everybody can watch the show, right. and we never have to be worried about that. So. Well, the landscape of TV is just saturated. So, I mean, yeah. it's kind of, that's the reason why I think probably our, our show, um, it, it, you know, for ratings, it, it fares well um, with drama, scripted drama, whatever in cable for US especially. But um, yeah, I'm, probably that's because we don't see it somewhere else. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, it's part of the... Yeah the magic of when that's, so. that's part of the allure and you know I, i've talked about this often um we we came on to a, a very well oiled machine um and i constantly like we constantly talk about the fact that uh, uh, this show is a, is a combination of really good really good artists at work and an amazing fan base that has protected those artists uh, for for a lot longer than they probably would have had to operate on their own, and 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 it, that is not lost on any of us that that the Hardys are the reason. Look, season eight. I don't know if it would have gotten season eight when we even got on the show without the Hardys. And like honestly, no, yeah, you know, it's the the there's there are many times with the show might have gone away but the hardys they got loud voices 
and, and, and you know, and the show is still here. So that that says a lot to me. And you know, we're we're really uh, appreciative of the group that we came into. Yeah. You know, yeah. led by Aaron. Uh, I I. I, anytime I talk to Aaron, I'm just like, your job never ends. Aaron is on it 24 seven, 365. Yeah. She is mm-hmm. on it. She is making sure if it's the birthday shout outs or behind the scenes or just checking in with everybody. She takes that she's job. So invested. She's, she's so, so present. So invested. So easy to go and speak to her if you need to. Yeah. You know, she's she really she really is like the heart of the show. Yeah, and and like I've said this before, Natasha said this before. I don't know if I've ever seen a more suitable number one on something. Like yeah. knowing what 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 Elizabeth is supposed to be, and then speaking to Aaron is like is like the same per it's like the same person. It's mm-hmm. uh, you don't know where one stops and the other starts. It's it's um, and and to be doing this for as long as she's been doing this and you know show up like she does every single day that it's it's amazing to watch and and the you know the cast surrounding her that have been there for since day one or yeah you know Mm -hmm. we're we're lucky that they're there because they're the ones that set the tone so Shaven Buren of Manchester, Michigan says she loved the scenes of Joseph with the guys and Minnie with the ladies in season 10. Mm. So she wonders what friendships you would like to see develop further for your characters. It's kind of like similar to what we were talking earlier about like interactions that maybe we haven't seen a lot that you'd like your characters to, you know, have more interactions with. Mm hmm. Yeah. Right. Well, you know, actually, for me in season 11, she really spends a bit of time with Faith. She never spends time with Faith. Mm-hmm. So that was really nice because Andrea and I are, are good friends. Oh, friends and we, yeah. yeah, we've known each other for so long because we have the same management. And, you know, so it was actually really nice for a change because we're sort of like ships in the night usually. Yeah. Um, so it was really nice to be able to have a bit more uh, to do with her but I guess because of the choir scenes previously I guess I ended up spending time with pretty much everyone for a change <laughs> um, again it was really really nice um, I spend you see I spent a bit more time with May as well mm-hmm. also very nice mm-hmm. um, Amanda yeah so it's it's uh, she gets to have her a few more people that she spends time with because I know Lucas was 10 she spent some time with Lucas in 10 someone that Minnie never really ever speaks to yeah. um so I'm getting I'm getting around everybody eventually <laughs> I'll get to everyone Perfect. Yes. Yes. And we love seeing those new pairings and new things yeah. that surprise us still after 11 seasons you know <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so I, on this oh, go ahead I want Joseph to hang out with uh yeah. with Mike Hickam because <laughs> Ben is the oh my gosh Ben is the funniest guy that you've ever oh man it, all we're trying to do is is to not laugh at what Ben is doing that is all we are doing on that show he is so effortlessly funny yeah. it's insane and and that's another cat I'm like please get him to like get him to do more of yeah. what he can do because oh my god he's so like he has his new his new poster i think this is the first time that we've had a poster for make my kid kick him sorry yeah yeah, yeah yeah wow yeah. I mean, so yeah. something yeah. Kinda... you'll see you'll see why i was gonna say as you were saying that i was trying to think of any scenes that joseph and hickam have shared and i can just picture like group scenes and things like that well that he was he was one of the first people that uh that joseph met when he came to the town yes Yes, Uh, that's right yeah so so the way that that worked on that day that i shot my first scene ben was one of the first people that i met uh, when i when i came came to set and so he and we just we just hit it off right away and (laughs) oh you see like 
if you look at my phone, it's like just jokes going back and forth between Ben and I. It's all it is, all the time. There's never a serious conversation. Just jokes, jokes back and forth. Uh, yeah, I, I anything anything he does, I just want to be there to watch because he's so hilarious. Well, we have had some hints that uh, music and the choir um, figures into season eleven quite a bit. So mm -hmm. this is kind of an interesting question. Um, we wonder if there's a song or a set of lyrics from any era that you think captures the action and the feeling of season 11 that is coming starting April 7th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a tough one to just pull out of your brain. Okay. But... <laughs> wow. any, wow. any era, go. I was going to say, pause the film because, wow, go to your- Okay. That okay. is- Check, oh, check your playlist. <laughs> Um, oh my goodness. Hmm. Um, California Love by Tupac. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> no, it's, that's, a new, that's a new vibe for season 11. <laughs> it's crazy what's going to happen. Y'all don't know. <laughs> um, oh. Or maybe a genre of music, maybe, that you think gives the overall vibe of the, the overall vibe. <laughs> oh my goodness. Song. You know, because I was thinking of one and then I was like, wait, that's only a small portion yeah, of the season. The there's there's so season. many different, there's <laughs> so many different elements to it. Mm. We've stumped the, them. We've done it, girls. The, <laughs> the, the, the uh, re remember the theme song from Dallas, the TV show Dallas. Yeah. Wait, is that? Just remember that. Just remember that. Okay, interesting. There's a storyline that has a storyline there that reminds me of Dallas. Funny. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's totally yep. intriguing. Yep. Oh. Yep. There's okay. a storyline there that. This is one time I have no idea. What I have a feeling I have an idea. I have an idea of what you're. Of what you're you know what I'm talking about. about. You know about. I have That's to it. look up that theme song because I don't. I know. just, I oh, just aged, I aged myself compared to, to my, my young friend here. <laughs> and Natasha's <laughs> like, "What was that a show?" <laughs> yeah. You oh know. no, she knows. She knows the show. <laughs> but uh, you know, <laughs> one that's the song. That that to, to, there's a okay. and that's that's a, there's an element when it happens, y'all will know what I'm talking about. I have two or three in my mind, and I'm like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> that's a that's a right. that's that's a good question. I feel well, like that's a great song. answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Um. Uh. Amazing Grace. See now, I had thought of that. Yeah, I know that's a scene, though. Right? See, simpatico, all is good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, that's a very crazy Dallas theme song and Amazing Grace. Well, can we say ends on like all things bright and beautiful? Oh yes, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yes. There we go. There's just many songs throughout the season. Yes. But, you know, we can end there. Yes, we'll we can. Consider that oh, no, we... oh. Uh, maybe well, maybe um... <laughs> well, oh, no. <laughs> Amazing yeah. grace. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we won't torture you anymore with that one. <laughs> so, pivoting now, we are so excited to talk about your brand new movie that's coming. Mm -hmm. Called, I'm gonna make sure I get it right. Mm -hmm. Legends of the Lost Locket, right? We got that right. Awesome. Yes. So it looks like a lot of fun, and we noticed that you guys also served as producers on the film. Um, so we have a hearty Caroline Richardson from South Carolina asks, "What was it like to produce as opposed to not just act to kind of do both there?" Very tiring. Very tiring. <laughs> <laughs> that's your first that's response. Right. <laughs> that's uh, What's the difference as far as um, additional kind of um, involvement you have as a producer? Well, you know, we were part of the pre-production process um, and just, just really, you sort of are engaged in every element, you know, props, costumes, mm -hmm. other characters, dialogue, storyline, casting casting and I think it's in 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 a lot of ways I actually really 
enjoyed it because yep. you get to have the opportunity it really becomes your baby yes the project becomes your baby yes. because you know you've been involved in every element before it even goes to camera and yes. your opinions you can you know you can share your opinions and what you don't like and what you do like and I don't really want to say that I don't think that really works and then everything becomes a discussion and it's all a collaboration so by the time you get to camera yeah it definitely feel you feel really set in what you're about to do you're comfortable you're confident and everyone around you is aware of you know where the you everyone wants the project to go so yeah. we're happy with where the project wants to yeah. go and then the director knows the produ other producers and everybody we're all on the same page and that's yeah. a really nice feeling yeah as a, as an actor you you show up and a lot of that process is done yeah you, really you, cool. you're not involved in that you just show up hey where's my trailer can i get some snacks but <laughs> yeah. it's, it's very different when you when you when you are like we we had lived with this for a year and a half before before we started shooting yeah yeah so okay. yeah so it was it was yeah. it was coming together yeah like the revisions of the the script and, yeah. and the story and where we wanted it to go and just thinking you know there are certain things that you don't think about things that need to make sense in the script and things like that that maybe if you were just acting on it you'd read it and go well that doesn't quite make sense but okay oh, well. it, i'll say it i'll fix you it know? In, yeah. i'll fix it in post oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a year and a half prior yeah. you know you realize that there are so many things and because you get so invested in it you start going i want it to make sense yes i want to yeah. find a way to fix this yes. i don't want to just do it anyway you know and so that's where you, you can get really engrossed in in the pre-production of it yeah it made me a she might disagree but it made me a <laughs> made me a, a a better actor to act with i'm so sorry uh, because um <laughs> i you really realize through the prep of a mm. of a production that time is not on your side no at all no and so as an actor like i said as an actor you show up and you may not be aware of, you're not aware of all the goings on, all the behind the scenes. And so as a, as producers on it, you know, all of a sudden scheduling and money and all that stuff, that's going through your head as well. So, mm -hmm. so not, it didn't change my approach to doing what I do as far as like, you know, coming in and knowing what's going on. But I was very aware that I had like less time to, like, don't fumble. Don't fumble the ball. Don't don't screw up. And you're next to this one who doesn't screw up a line. I mean, she had 17,000 words to say, and she missed, like, three of them. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't look that way. I missed, I missed 15,000 or 17,000. It's fine. <laughs> we fix it later. But, <laughs> but, but it was a very different sense of, of, like, oh, the sun is coming out. A very, very different sense of, of, uh, of time, like I said, yeah. time is not on your. Wow, it's getting really sunny. Time is not <laughs> on your side. It was really cool putting it together. Like mm -hmm. you, again, as an actor, you you show up to something that's been put together, but mm -hmm. but when you you know produce and you know we came up, we came up with the storyline and and a lot of stuff that we we had input into. And then the music, they're coming to us going, you know, oh, what do you think of this music cue here? Uh, we learned so much, <laughs> so much in the post-production as well yeah. that you learn. Yeah. And not even realizing because it almost is subconscious when you're listening to a score, if it's done well, it lays perfectly underneath the scene it and it the enhances scene. the scene. Yes. And then it's just so interesting to then actually go, oh, that, that actually doesn't work or oh that really does work I almost didn't notice it was there yeah but it did still enhance the scene right yeah. and and all these things that you don't really spend don't that much about. time thinking about yeah. that actually and, and it's really tiny things you know well that needs to be brought down just a little bit or that needs to go up just a little yeah. bit nothing yeah. is ever any big adjustment usually it's made us come away from from this experience going like how do bad films make it make, like make it out <laughs> right. so many so many people have so many eyes on this thing before it gets yeah. released you're like what 
how does that even happen? Like, if they're checking in with us with our little movie, <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm like, how are these major studios putting out movies that just aren't performing? It's like somebody doesn't care somewhere, but mm. you, you have to go over every aspect of everything. Honestly, I, 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 have, uh, I have a newfound respect for producers. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. And you do look at your own work differently as well. Yes. You know, because I mean, let's be real, we're actors, we're narcissists. Totally thinking about ourselves. Right. You know, you're looking at my face, my face look right. Exactly. Hang on. Hang on. Let me just All the time. Yeah. 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 Yeah this mm. scene works. It doesn't matter what my face was doing. Doesn't matter. This scene works. Scene work. And and uh, again, fortunately, we work well together because you know, again, the, the demands of of of. I, I mean, like I said, she had so much to say. It was it was incredible. Like I, I uh, just reams of paper. Natasha yeah. had to memorize. Uh, uh, not that I didn't have to memorize, but yeah, I, don't, yeah. uh, I don't typically memorize <laughs> stuff like that much. <laughs> I'm like in the moment. Really? I never noticed. No, no one notices that. We'll fix it in post. Uh, we'll fix this in post too. No, I'm just uh, no, it's just uh, you know another 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 example for me of like this one right here. I am I'm pumped for this movie because you are gonna see my friend here shine like. Just, he keeps saying the truth. I feel like we're <laughs> setting our files up for a fall. No, here. we're not. I mean, no, we've, we've seen the not. previews. You're already shining in the previews. <laughs> no, uh, uh, honestly, honestly, uh, since we met and we started talking about doing, uh, you know, a movie together, what have I been saying about what I wanted people to see? Us be just great together and. <laughs> She's being, she's being modest. I have been like, I can't wait for people to see what you get to do when you are bringing yourself into the equation a little bit more. Because Minnie, Minnie is a is a departure from Natasha, and 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 people haven't gotten to see what this one can do. And I'm I'm well, like, I am pumped because well, that's you know, really interesting because you know Minnie has a cadence in her speech that you know this is. This is it's something that we will not see mm -hmm. with, uh, nope. your new uh, character, and it's Amelia, right? Um, Amelia, yeah. yes. So, Viv, you're uh, Marcus, and mm -hmm. Natasha, you're uh, Amelia, and you're an <laughs> antiques dealer from Great Britain. So, we're going to hear, and I think <laughs> a lot of Hardys know, unless you see our, our chat, yeah. or HFR, that you have a natural... British accent. Yes, yeah, so, she does. <laughs> I'm really excited for that. And to be honest, actually, there were a couple times I uh, had to catch myself because I I thought I was saying something wrong because <laughs> I wasn't saying it in an American accent, and I realized. I don't <laughs> Wait a minute! You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's really interesting. And then, so in in the previews, it sounds like Amelia does. She just full on um invite marcus to the ball is that oh, yeah. what i you in the preview you ask uh, him out in the clip right yeah it's not quite how it all works she's uh <laughs> she's um i've got business today. she's got business oh there do. you go and business and and, uh, and yeah marcus uh, might... i drag him along yeah <laughs> yeah he's, uh... Yeah, he wasn't uh he wasn't planning on doing any of that. And so you can see in the trailer uh, there's a bit of reluctance on his behalf. When you watch it, actually wait for the bit that comes afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's something that we had we had to learn how well, I had to learn how to dance uh in a way that I have not danced before for this movie. <laughs> and oh my god. <laughs> well, you know what? Skill set on your resume. Now you have it. <laughs> <laughs> the patience on this one. Oh man! Woo! Wow! Yeah, oh, she's fun. Yeah, it was fun. Wasn't it fun? We had to put up with a lot. 
It was fun. I, 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 I say a line in the movie where I say, I hope you're wearing steel-toed slippers. And mm -hmm. that was not too far from the truth. I was not. <laughs> she was not. But, you know. It only happened a few times where you... you I'm a thespian. <laughs> <laughs> the show must go on with your <laughs> bleeding feet. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We had fun. That's so cool. And like you said, like in the in the trailer, we see the ballroom dancing, a little bit of that. And you guys, <laughs> you look amazing in your like formal like costumes and the dread, the gown, the tuxedo. Oh, and Rothgar looks amazing too. Yeah. So, uh, can Rothgar. you tell us more about that? Yeah. Um, like I said, I had to learn how to do yeah. any of that. Uh, well, we both did. You didn't have to learn anything. You were already on play. This no, is she, no, yeah. no. Okay. We both were learning. <laughs> She's being very sweet and very no. kind right now. <laughs> did you, how um, did Rockgar, did you know he was attached to the project or did you show up on set and go, oh, hey. Oh, no, we know every... Uh, we knew every detail. Every detail. Day <laughs> no, we, we, uh, we, we approach, we asked Rothgar to be a, a part of it. Mm -hmm. And initially he he, he was uh he's, he did a play right after filming the movie. So he was yeah. he was like, Oh I'm, I'm doing this play and I really wanna make sure I'm 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 you know good to go. So he was like, I don't know if that's gonna work. Um and then and then it did work out. So we were really happy about that because yeah. oh my god, we love rock art. Great. How was his dancing? How was he? <laughs> rock car, rock car can do anything. He just struggling. He just, <laughs> he just brings he brings this other kind of element to everything where uh, he could probably show me something, show me a move, and say this is how it's done, and I'll just believe him because he just has this authenticity to him, man. Everything he does. And how he approaches everything, he's 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 he is the most joyful person he on set. All the time, straight up. The energy he has is endless. He does not get <laughs> bent out of shape about any. He doesn't like when people are late. Oh yes. Which he doesn't like when we people are late. Found that out at the reunion. Yeah, <laughs> he does not like when people are late. But outside of that, rock unshakable. He just. Yeah. He's just so fun to be around. He's always breezy, always light, and just comes in and knocks it out every single take. Yeah, I, I, yeah, we're just we, we, we're just so excited. So proud we're of so it. So excited. We just want to hear what everyone thinks yeah. now. We just want it to be April thirteenth. Quite yeah. frankly, well, just send it to everybody <laughs> right now. <laughs> when you mentioned the date, I don't know if you guys saw and if parties all saw that it's one of the films that Hallmark Channel is dropping early on the screener. So on Hallmark Movies Now, you can see it on April 4th. Um, yes. And then it's airing on a Hallmark Channel on the 13th. 13th. So, yeah, we can make it. Well, we should let everybody know. We should we let should. everyone know. We just said. <laughs> Give out Hallmark Movies Now. <laughs> we want to know early what you think. Yes. There you go. <laughs> We're so hyped right now. <laughs> we can watch it the week of the Wind Calls premiere. So you can watch yeah. your movie on the 4th, Aaron's movie on the 6th, and then mm -hmm. the, the premiere on the 7th. This is a... It's going to be a great week, guys. Let's great go. Totally. <laughs> Let's go, Hardys. <laughs> Let's you know what we on. need to make the week even greater? Some churros. Churros. Oh, right. Right. Churros. <laughs> Three nights. That's Three right. nights of churros. Healthy. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, well, we can't wait to see it. It's it's so exciting. It's going to be, you know, a great two weeks. Um, so thank you so much, Viv and Natasha, for being with us today. Well, thank you for having us. We had a oh, great time chatting. It's been too long. Yes. <laughs> we're so hype we're so hype you guys don't even know like, we're like really you don't think they could tell <laughs> kept it in check cool? no oh let's go oh man <sighs> okay uh, so... i'm cool <laughs> we will see you guys on x slash twitter remember to use yes parties you know showing up for one calls a heart and for legend of the lost locket and so we will see you here on Heart to Hearties.
all season, you know, with the cast and writers. There's so much to talk about. It's so exciting. So we'll see you next time, Hardys. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Hardys. <laughs>